Sub is GPT. It helps you uh, increase the customer experience with the power of AI uh, with service G GPT, right? And what ex how exactly it does that? Let's talk about it. Service replies. It uh, just uses the real-time data sources, whatever the data is present into the CRM. Uh, it just picks up that data and it just gives you the replies on your on its own. Uh, without even uh, the without even the sale uh, like, like the support rep or the service rep working on to it what i mean by that let's take an example there is a the, uh, uh, there is a uh, i mean there is a customer support request that uh, that has been raised by a customer uh, that they got the t-shirt in a black color uh, but they ordered it in gray uh, and the size is also different so this is a customer support request now the ai is going to write down the answer uh, on its own that uh, all right uh, i mean you place this order but if you want a uh, i mean if you want a gray t-shirt instead of a black one uh, this is how you can do it and i can help you do that please select and uh, once the user is going to select it or once the customer support uh, i mean once the customer is going to uh, check that thing uh, automatically an order will be placed for the pickup of the black t-shirt and the gray t-shirt will be delivered back to the uh, doors of the customer increasing your customer experience and reducing the time of your support rep working on to resolving that particular case yeah Am I correct exactly uh, then comes work summaries uh, I mean nobody wants to re read all of those case threads right if you really want to know like the summary of what has been going on into this case for a very long time and this has been escalated to this individual this has been escalated to that individual and you want to sum up all of that information service gpt can really help you do that uh, by just summarizing all of it into one uh, i mean and giving you the summary of it one point i would like to kind of add which i believe in service replies the content that the AI would be generating would not be sent automatically. Of course, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I forgot that. So, uh, I mean, it's not like that uh, the AI is going to send it on its own, as I said earlier as well. Uh, it is going to just write it down for you, send it, throw it in front of your face and your rep. And, and your support rep just has to like say yes or no to it and it'll, it'll get sent. In order for, for the toxic data, what we call it as, toxicity toxicity to be to, to not be there in uh, because of the ai we do not want our uh, customer to be sent some random uh, mess messages which is which, which it generally does not do but uh, all of these things needs to be taken care of by a human as well if in case uh, then the customer support uh, executive is just going to like either i mean you can see that in the in the image that we have created over here right there's a send button over there yeah. so you can just either edit the response that the ai has written uh, or you can just simply send it so that that's how it works right then comes knowledge articles a uh, very boring task uh, requires a lot of effort a lot of energy and uh, you would not you would not like to miss anything into knowledge articles while writing it down because it is going to help you solve a lot of similar problems later in your life as well uh, I mean, I mean, for your business or for the, for the for that particular product or service, right? So what what happens is that once let like let's say the there is a problem in the I mean, I mean in that T-shirt only, or no, not in the T-shirt only, but like let's say there is a new problem that has uh, that has been registered into uh, your CRM as a case, and the service rep has worked really hard in order to close it, and now you want this to be converted into a knowledge article. All what you need to do is just click on a button and it'll get converted into a knowledge article, making sure that no information is lacking from it, right? And again, of course, you can edit it, edit it uh, in, in order to just have a quality check onto it. Uh, but yeah, this is something that can be done, which can save a lot, save you a lot of, lot of, lot of time. So that's what it uh, what it can do for you. Then comes mobile work briefings for all of the field service agents that you send. Uh, you can all you, you I mean just I mean. When sending them the request to go to a particular location to solve a particular problem, at that po same point of time, you can also send them a summarized information of, uh, yeah, you can send them a summarized information of, uh, of, of the order uh, that they have to take care of in order for them to be prepared while going for it in order to solve it, right? So just take an example of an AC repair person. 
uh so if if you want to send someone to uh, someone's door to in order to repair the ac uh you can also send them the problem that they have submitted and the possible solutions that they need to be ready with uh and the equipments and the i mean uh, extra extra supplies that they need to be ready with in order to uh, i mean serve that order in a faster and a better manner rather than just going there the, and then figuring it out that what do i need uh, in order to solve it and then going back again to get that thing from somewhere and then getting it installed wasting a lot of time so yeah it can do that as well uh, then comes case classification uh, similar to lead routing uh, in order to do case routing you would want uh, the best of the people who can solve a particular pi- kind of problem to solve all of that kind of problems right because they solve it the best way so all of this thing can happen automatically all of the case routing can be classified with the help of service gpt and it can it can automatically write it to the right team or the right individual in order for a particular type of case to be solved uh, based on the earlier success ratios of that kind of problems that a particular team or that a particular uh, individual solved 